Hi, this is Steven. We're going to see how to structure your projects uh, on uh, multi-level buildings and how to use uh, reference points to, to help you in, to do so. Um, my blueprints uh, are all aligned on the, on the x-axis and uh, there is a, s a space of 40 meters between them. I'm going to show the objects I al already drew. When you are drawing uh, walls and so on, reference points uh, often get uh, at random location. So, in order to, to, to have them aligned and duplicate this one, and then in Y axis I go 40 meter. So, I'll, I'm, I'm certain they are perfectly aligned. I select the older one and the new one at last and then merge. So all objects are no child of the of the reference point. Those two levels here uh, share the same uh, inside structure, so the, the inside walls opening and so on are uh, the same. There are some difference in the in the in the rear part but uh, I don't care uh, of this uh, uh, for now. I select the the reference point and then I duplicate. Uh, there are some some uh, method to duplicate. I'm using the linked because the, the 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 openings stay linked between the the two levels. I duplicate one time and spacing three meter. So I got a new level. Now I'm able to move it 40 meters in Y, so it's aligned with the, the, the other, and I remove object I don't need. Uh, and I move it on the Z axis 3 meter. I uh, don't remove the, the wall, the, the old wall, as um, uh, openings belong to it, to, to, to this one. So if I remove it, it will remove openings too. In order to transfer openings from one, from the, the, the old one to the new one, I select the new one and go in the wall, wall tool options and auto boolean. So openings now belong to the new wall and I'm able to remove the old one. I can uh, adjust walls according. I'm doing it uh, fast and dirty for uh, this demo. But that's it. The last thing I, I must do is to merge the two, two reference points. So I select one, then B, to select the other, and then merge. And now I get one single reference point for the level. Once this done, if I move a reference point, like, like I do uh, when, uh, when creating the new one, I must set to the location so the tool know he, this is the today location of this, this uh, reference point. Today location is the location of the object when he, he is over the blueprints. So I select this reference point and I move it in 3D. A 3D location is where you can stack your levels. You can move it wherever you want the tool will uh, remind the last location when you go back to the to today. I select this one, move to 3D. By default, 3D here is zero zero, so I move it, it move it from three meter up, and he will get perfectly aligned. Same for this one, but six meter up. I don't care, but the the next one is the exactly the same. 
and we can use uh, another method to, to copy. I moved the last one, G Z twelve. I'm able to dump this one, but using the collection method, collection will create a new collection and create a collection instance. So every change done on one, it's is done on both, and that's it. If I select all my references and keep keeping one of them active I'm able to go to move all my all my levels on the blueprint location this is perfect if you want to add some uh, some furniture and so on and then move back to 3D as you can see the, the collection instance is uh, over the other. I got here my level and this is the instance so I can hide it and show. And that's it for uh, reference points and project management.